Hello guys. It is Saturday, April 4, and it is already like 2.40, or yeah, 2.40, and I've been up for a while, but I've just been editing yesterday's vlog and hanging out with my mom. So I showered earlier, my hair is still kind of wet, but I'm going to get ready in a second. And yeah, I haven't had my coffee yet, so I need to make my chai tea. I have a really cool DIY that I'm excited to try out. And yeah, it's disgusting outside. Like it's freezing. Like yesterday was 75 degrees and today it's 40. So, so yeah, I'm going to finish up the rest of this video and get it uploaded. Okay guys, so since you last saw me, my video went live and I got ready. I have honestly been so happy with how my buns have turned out lately i finally figured out how to do a messy bun anyway i figured i would show you guys what i got from amazon for this diy one thing is a plain white hoodie i believe i got three different hoodies and i believe i got them all from the same brand yeah they're all hanes ouch hey gray you make a gray hoodie and a blue hoodie I got them all in large and I'll link them below. I think they were like 12 bucks a piece. And then I got these things. They are t-shirt transfer paper that you literally just load into your normal printer, print stuff out, and then they're supposed to be like fade resistant, that kind of stuff, whenever you iron them onto your stuff. So you have one for light fabric and then one for dark fabric. And they come with, the white ones come with six sheets and then the black ones come with five. And I'll have to look up the prices and I'll like put them on the screen. But I figured we're gonna try to make our own cute hoodies since they're so trendy right now. But the first thing you have to do is hook up my printer and it has to do with Wi-Fi and so I just moved it's kind of a pain in the ass. So we're gonna do that first and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so while I'm drinking my coffee, I'll kind of explain to you my idea for the DIYs. So, trendy hoodies are like super in right now. Like you see everybody wearing like a big hoodie with some kind of graphic on them. And some of them can get like really expensive. Like I really wanted the Drew House hoodie, the Justin Bieber ones. They're like a hundred dollars. So, my idea is just, I'm gonna take the Drew House logo and you print it onto a sheet and then you iron it on. So I'm gonna do Drew the Drew House logo on the white one and then I wanted to do like this kind of Playboy picture on the gray one. And then I looked on Louis Vuitton and they have this kind of like t-shirt. And I figured I could probably put that onto the hoodie, you know? So that is the plan. And then I want, like if it works well, I want to make like a lot. Like I want to make like this Balenciaga one and order like a, a bright yellow hoodie. The anti-social club hoodies are really in. So I'm wondering if I could do like their logo. I feel like that would be kind of hard to cut out, but I'll try it. I've got a whole list of ones that I want to try if these work out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll make a whole video on like different ones that I make. I'm excited. <laughs> got the printer. Okay, I got the printer right here. Now we just gotta set it up, which is a pain in the ass. So I got the computer, the printer set up and you go to the Avery website. Now make sure that you feed the paper in with this side up. Okay, so you insert your picture onto the template in Avery's website and then preview and print. So it'll look like that. And then get PDF to print. Okay, so then it will download like this and then file, print, and print. So then it comes out like this. It's backwards, obviously, because you have to iron it on. So now I'm going to print a couple more designs and I'll show you what they are. I just made the Playboy one. It's not the exact, exact photo. Like it's the same cover that Playboy had, but it's not filtered the same way as the misguided ones. I couldn't figure that out exactly, but I filtered it to how I like it. And then I'm trying to figure out what to do with the baby blue hoodie because I want to do the anti-social social club one, but but I think I would have to end up cutting out all of those letters individually. I don't really want to do that. That sounds like a lot of work. So we're going to find a new design or maybe make our own. Okay, and then I have the Playboy one printed. Okay, so I couldn't decide what to do with the blue and I decided to make my own. As you guys know, like it is my dream to, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, it is literally my dream to live in Los Angeles at some point in my life. And like I've 
said to Tyler, I said, like, my friends, like, I'm telling you right now, like, in two years, I'm living in Los Angeles. I don't care what I have to do. Like, I'm making it happen. So, one of the ideas that I had in my folder of hoodies that I wanted to make was, like, putting, like, this saying, like, manifest that shit on a hoodie. And so I decided to put los angeles like a picture of downtown los angeles with manifest that shit on it on the blue hoodie which i think is awesome and that is how it turned out i'm literally so obsessed with it so we're gonna print that and then start with the ironing process of all of this okay so let me turn off okay so now it says to trim your photos to like what you want printed out so i'm just going to cut like basically just cut off the edges cut the white off Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to place it on the shirt and it tells you the directions for ironing right here. So it tells you, it tells you not to use an ironing board, to use it on like a heat resistant surface. So like a wooden table is best. I don't have a big enough wooden table, so I'm using my kitchen counter, which I feel like it's fine. Applying firm pressure slowly from left to right and then from top to bottom. And it tells you like how long to iron it. So like for a full sheet, it's three minutes. And it's allowed to cool for two to three minutes and then remove the backing of it. guys look at it manifest that shit it turned out so good and the size is like perfect look it looks so good and these hoodies are honestly so soft inside guys i'm literally so happy with how they turned out so yes that worked out very well and now i'm hungry so let's go make a snack and i also have movies to watch tonight. i'm gonna watch hustlers and once upon a time in hollywood because i hear that was good while my toasted raviolis are cooking i'm going to watch some youtube hang out with zoe and then after i'm done eating i will turn my movies on all right we're gonna watch the movie and eat <laughs> <laughs> 